up guys welcome back to yet another episode of minecraft therapy where i do therapy with myself and you guys uh today i want to give y'all some big brother brotherly advice because um kind of been a kind of been a dream of mine to be a big brother not gonna lie uh, i have an older sister so she was never really receptive to my brotherly advice so yeah i have some ideas about i don't know life you know everyone has their ideas about life and i don't know i think for myself it would have been helpful to have someone uh give me advice when i was younger because my parents were immigrants and not to put anything as immigrants but i think they didn't really know american life that well so there were some struggles there, but I had to figure things out with. So, yeah, hopefully, I don't know, I can say something useful for you guys. Also, I think, I don't know, we're all stuck inside during quarantine, so I wanted to do a sort of more lighthearted episode that hopefully can get you guys through this tough time. So, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to be saying my advice through, like, some, like, I don't know, sayings some like platitudes and then I'll, I'll give some like of my own stories about those but i think like i don't know sayings are a good way to frame life lessons because they're easy to remember first one i've got is shit happened how it happened so the past is perfect that's from merlin from brockhampton on the song swim uh go listen to that song it's a great song but yeah shit happened how it happened so the past is perfect I think that's a good way to look at life because you can really beat yourself up uh, about the past and like wonder if I did things differently, how would my life be right now or have a lot of regrets about the past and that can really eat away at you. I know that did to myself when I was younger with, I don't know, like every decision I make where I would embarrass myself in middle school or I don't know, like lose a friend or wonder if I picked the right club to join or whatever. Like, you know, these are not that important choices. But when you're a kid, they feel like important choices. And it can really eat away at you uh, because I think, I don't know, when you're young, every choice feels like a big choice. And then because you don't know any better. So it really eats away at you. But I think that that's a good perspective that Merlin from Brockhampton gives us, you know. Shit happened how it happened, so the past is perfect. Like, the the past is the past, and there's really only one way it could have gone. I think that's a good way to look at it. Like, um, I don't know, like, there's... The, the, I think the reason people regret the past is because they think about, oh, like, what if I didn't do that? Then, like, what would where would I be right now? You know, I could be in a better position. But I think... I don't know. That's not how the universe works, I feel like. You know, we we only live in the universe we live in, the timeline we live in. And that's all we can do. We can spend all our time thinking about what would have happened, but that it we, there we don't get those other timelines, you know? So sort of what's the point of thinking about it? We we have this timeline and let's make the best of it, you know? It's it's perfect as it is. Now, of course, I don't know, there's, maybe there's some fucked up shit in your life, and it's less than perfect. I'm not saying everything in your, in your life is perfect. I'm saying, um, if you make mistakes in your life, that, that's not the end of the world, and that's a good thing, you know? I think, I think oftentimes we beat ourselves up about mistakes, and I feel like a, a way I... I don't know, a way that's helped me at least cope with the mistakes I make and, like, not freak out too much about them is just thinking that you can learn something. I don't know, it's, this is really cheesy, but, like, you you really can learn something from your mistakes. I don't know. And as long as you learn something from them, then, I don't know, you can take that as a win, I feel like. Like, at least you fucked up now and not later in a bigger, in a worse way. Now you've learned something so you can avoid making that mistake again. <laughs> For example, this is, like, not that big a deal, but once I went to a water park, and there was this, like, cliff jump, so 
I had my glasses on and I did the cliff jump. Like, so the cliff jump is just basically, there's like a 20 foot, like high, 20 foot high cliff. And you jump off it into like a really big pool. And it's really fucking scary because 20 feet doesn't sound like very high, very high, but, uh, it fucking is. So yeah, I, I did the cliff jump at the water park and stupid me had my glasses on. So I jumped off fucking broke my glasses, uh, like someone, and they fell off while I jumped off the cliffs. Like a lifeguard had to go to the bottom of the pool, which is like 20 feet deep or like 40, like really deep. And retrieved my glasses. And I was like, ah, oh, I feel really stupid. This was like a fucking stupid mistake. Why did I, why did I wear my glasses? I, I feel stupid. But then later, my family went on like this uh, vacation. And there was yet another cliff jump. And this, and I also went on it. And this time it was the, it was like a natural hole in the ground or something. So the, it was like a hundred feet deep. So if I lost my glasses there, I would have never fucking gotten them back. But because I learned for my fucking water park mistake, I took off my fucking glasses and didn't wear them, so so I didn't fucking lose them. But if I hadn't gone to the water park and made that mistake, I would have worn my glasses into that 100-foot deep hole and fucking lost my glasses forever. So uh, that's, like, a really minor example, but, like, you you can... I feel like if you're... You have to make mistakes in life, you know? If you're not making mistakes, you're not learning... And that's just a part of life, you know? A part of life is just uh, making mistakes. And if you're making mistakes, that means you're doing something right, I feel like. Whether it's a breakup, it's a job that you want to do better at, a class you want to do better at, you know, maybe, I don't know, a friendship that didn't work out the way you wanted to. If you make a mistake, um, that's only human. And the best you can do from that is learn from it. You know, we all, even the the coolest dude you know made a huge mistake probably in his youth. Like, I bet Obama, like, accidentally f- fucked someone's girl once and really fucked up and felt bad about it. And then he never fucked anyone's bitch again. And now he's, now he's, you know, now he was president. So what I'm saying is, uh, yeah, shit happened how it happened. So the past is perfect. Another quote in that vein is, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. And that's another way to look at, you know, the past life is how it is. You know, it's like, so let me, let me explain that quote. If my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. That's like sort of how, like, you know, how people sort of say like, oh, like if only I'd done, if only I had done this internship last year, I would have gotten this job this year. Yeah, if you had done that, that maybe would have happened. And also, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. But guess what? My aunt doesn't have balls, so she's not my uncle. And guess what? You, like, didn't do that internship, so you, you know... So what's the use in, like, beating yourself up about it and, like, thinking about the alternate future... The alternate, you know, universes that exist? What's the point in thinking about my aunt having balls? She doesn't, so, like, why... You, why why think about that if you you messed up you didn't get something you wanted cool that's you didn't that didn't happen it sucks but like why think about why beat yourself up about a possible timeline definitely learn from those mistakes grow from that but don't beat yourself up about it unnecessarily um yeah but i think sort of going along those lines is Another thing I think I learned, and this one comes from, I don't know, my parents, just living life in general, is just forgive yourself and others. So shout out mom and dad for teaching me that. I don't know, if you do beat yourself up about your mistakes, I'm not saying don't do that ever, you know, I do that myself. But forgive yourself. First of all, forgive yourself for doing that. If you don't want to do that, which I don't, I don't want to beat myself up about my mistakes, but I do that, so... I forgive myself for doing that, and I also forgive myself uh, for my mistakes, you know, like, hey, I made a mistake. I, I'm i only human, you know, if I didn't, if I was perfect, I'd be a robot. So just forgiving yourself for, I don't know, like, and and more than just making, your mis- making mistakes, you know, like forgiving yourself for feeling, I don't know, like feeling like you don't want to work one day or 
feeling less productive or not feeling talkative, you know, like, um, not everyone's always going to feel 100% every day. And I think it's important that, I don't know, you don't, all of us don't beat ourselves up too much about that. You know, we, we're, we're only human. So we have to, we have to, you know, we have to be able to forgive ourselves for being human because that's the definition of being human is we're going to fuck up. I think along those lines also forgive others. So I don't know, like when I was younger, a lot of the time my sister would really get on my nerves and then my mom, my mom would like, my mom would see that. Yeah. My sister was like, Oh, like, yeah, your sister's bothering you, but forgive her. I for she's like, I forgive you when you're being an asshole <laughs> when you, she didn't say that, but like, you know, my dad, my mom forgives my dad when my dad ticks her off. My dad forgives my mom when, when she ticks him off and my parents forgive me when I tick them off, you know, because we're a family. And I think for the people that you care about in your life and maybe even those you don't like try your best to forgive them. Uh, I'm not saying forget, I don't know if they like really fuck your life up, you know, maybe you don't have to, but like up to a certain point, I think, you know, I don't know. For example, like say one day your friend ticks you off or bothers you and you're not in the mood for it. Just forgive him, you know, like, Hey, like, I'm sure you, you've ticked them off once or twice and felt really bad about it. So they probably feel really bad about it too. So just, you know, we're all only human. So we have to practice empathy and, and try to, you know, be be kind to each other. I don't know. All of this is trying to just saying the whole like, I don't know, shit happened now it happened, so the past is per is perfect and forgive yourself. Those are all just, you know, different ways of thinking about, hey, we're only human. And I think that's that's I think for me growing up that would have been really helpful to as a way to think about my life is hey, I'm only human. Because I think as a kid I put a lot of pressure on myself. Like I have to get really good grades. I have to get into this high school. I have to get into this college. I have to do really well in track. I have to make my parents proud. And those are all good goals, but um, they're not the end all be all. And I think ag- acknowledging to myself that I can try to do these things all, all I can try and do all of these things, but I, I can't, I'm going to mess up once or twice. And you know what? That's that, that is what people do. People mess up. My parents have messed up. Um, everyone messes up, so I don't have to, um, immediately su- succeed at everything. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're human, everyone, so please watch out for each other and be kind to each other. I think, yeah, so another good quote that I adhere to is, you'll end up regretting whichever choice you make. So in every decision. (laughs) So some people might think of this as a less than a positive quote, but I think, I don't know. I think it's a good way to look at life, you know, Um, because it really, it can help you get rid of the anxiety that you might have when making a decision. At least for me, I know when I have to make a big decision, I I'm really worried about making the right decision, right? Because it's scary to think you might make the wrong decision and fuck things up somehow. Um, but it's kind of like the grass is the grass is always green on the other side, you know? Like, no matter which decision you make, you will probably think about the other thing and how good it would have been, even if, even if it wouldn't have been as good as you imagine it to be. Uh, for example... For myself, before I started working on this startup, I had an offer to go work at this job in Chicago. And it was a hard decision for me, right? Because the job was a concrete thing with a salary. The startup was more risky. You know, it's up in the air. It's, yeah, it's, it's just more risky. But I, so I had to think about it for a long time. And I think no matter which, you know, so that, that, saying whichever decision you pick you'll end up regretting would have applied there if i picked um 
if I picked the Chicago job, I would have ended up thinking so much about like, oh, what what could have startup have been? Uh, why am I working this stupid job when I could have done the startup? Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I feel like I actually don't regret not picking uh, this that much because I feel like the other job would have sucked. But um, I don't know. There's there's other decisions too. Like basically, you can always talk yourself into thinking that the other thing would have been good. Or like me picking Stanford, right? I could have. I was sometimes I'm like, oh, what if I went to a different school? Would I be better off? That I guarantee, if I went to that different school, I'd be thinking, oh, what if I went to Stanford? Maybe I'd be better off. So I don't know. It's hard to don't don't. Uh, yeah, just just know that you know. So I feel like that can help relieve some of the anxiety with decision making even though it's kind of scary uh it's like you know what whichever decision i'm gonna make i'm gonna think about the other decision and like or the other universe where that decision could have could would have i would whichever decision i make i'm gonna think about the other universe where i made the other decision so let me just make a decision and not worry about which is the right one because i'm always gonna i'm always gonna have regrets about Oh, this isn't the right one. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of like just it's it's a way of accepting that no matter what, it's gonna kind of suck to have to make a decision. So just just make it. Uh, yeah. So I, that would be my advice to y'all, young ones out there. Just make a decision. And honestly, it sort of goes ties back to the first thing. If you do make the wrong decision, hey, you learn something. You probably will learn from that, and hopefully, you know, you'll learn from it and make better decisions in the future or whatever. Better now to fuck up in your decision-making than when you're a fucking parent. I don't know. (laughs) Yeah.